Hi, this video will discuss how a firm chooses the optimal input bundle or optimal way to deploy its resources. The firm's objective, of course, remember, is to profit maximize. How does a firm profit maximize? By cost minimizing. So this video will discuss three different techniques of cost minimization that will all provide the same answer to what is the optimal input combination. So let's discuss this further. Here's the three different approaches a firm can use to find the optimal input bundle. All of these again will minimize their cost. So they're all equivalent, the three approaches. The first approach is to minimize the cost by using the lowest ISO cost rule. So let me take a step back. This decision on how a firm minimizes its cost is very similar to a decision that we previously discussed for the consumer on how the consumer chooses its optimal bundle, choosing X's and Y's given a budget constraint. A firm is in the same situation. It has a budget constraint, an ISO cost curve. It has its preferences, its ISO quants, which were previously discussed. So what a firm wants to do is to allocate its resources most efficiently by choosing the optimal bundle, looking at both its ISO cost curve, its budget, and its ISO quant curve, its productivity, or its ability to turn inputs into output. So this first approach here is minimizing cost. Choose your lowest ISO cost rule. And what is this? This is, in words, the least costly way to produce a given level of output. Pick the bundle of inputs where you have the lowest ISO cost line. The lowest ISO cost line will just be the tangency to the ISO quant. Let me show you a visual of what this looks like to minimize cost. So you want to produce a given level of output. Maybe it's 100 units of output. And you have three different ISO cost curves here. You could spend $3,000 and make 100 units of output by producing, for example, here or producing here. Those would both cost you $3,000 and you'd make 100 units of output. Another option for the firm is, hey, let's spend $2,000 and produce here. So spend a thousand dollars less and make the same 100 units of output. Now of course a firm would love to spend a thousand dollars to get its 100 units of output but note the pink curve and the blue line never are tangent nor intersect. So this says in words you spending a thousand dollars you won't get 100 units of output. So the least costly way then to spend, to minimize your costs, and to get your 100 units of output would be to spend $2,000 and produce here at this tangency point. So if these two curves are tangent at point X that I've shaded in here with this uh, black dot, that means where they're tangent, the slopes are equivalent. So note, here at the top, we had five, 3,000 as your cost. The slopes of the blue and pink are not the same. The pink is steeper than the blue. So where you cost minimize is where the slope of the ISO cost curve, and the slope of the ISO cost curve is right here. That's your ISO cost slope. It's just tangent to the slope of the ISO quant. What's the slope of the ISO quant? This is also known as the MRTS. There's a separate video on MRTS, but MRTS is this ratio of marginal products. And how do we know it was a ratio of marginal products? Well, a quick re recap of the MRTS, for example, at point A, is at point A you have, we're willing to swap out six units of capital for one unit of workers at point A. This is MRTS of six. So what's more productive, a worker or a machine? Well, if you're willing to give up six machines for one more worker, your worker, of course, is more productive. How much more productive is the worker at point A? 
they're six times as productive. So if the MRTS is six at point A, this says the marginal productivity to labor is six times as productive as the marginal productivity capital. That's where we get this MRTS is the ratio of marginal products. So then to recap, the cost minimizing point where you choose the lowest ISO cost curve given you want to make 100 units of output is this tangency where the slope, the negative W over R, is just equal to this ratio of marginal products, MPL over MPK.